I don't know about you, but I love my GoPro. I love how many accessories they have, all the freaking mounts, everything that you can just do with these. You can mount them anywhere, you can put them anywhere, you can do really anything with them. But every once in a while, I don't want to use the GoPro, whether that's a low light thing or whatever. Sometimes I just like to use a nice HD point and shoot. But the problem is, how do I mount this? Well, there's a solution. Almost all cameras like this have a quarter 20 mount. That's a quarter 20 fastener. And GoPro just so happens to make this nice little tripod adapter. All you really need then is a quarter 20 threaded with some knurled nuts on the end or some sort of wing nut or fastener. From there, you'll need a mount that you want to use. All the GoPro parts are held together with these fasteners with the handles on them. All the fasteners that GoPro uses, from these to the ones on the end of their bar mounts, are all number 1020 or number 1038. So, what we need to do to adapt everything is get a couple of your own number 1038. You can use these pan heads with a nut, some washers, you can use any kind of head on there you want. Okay, so now what? So you'd think it'd be just as easy as taking these and putting them together, right? Well, the way that the GoPro system works is you have a three prong that always goes into a two prong. And those slip together. So you can't really put three prong to three prong together. So what I've done with this is I've gone ahead and I've removed the little nut that holds it in. You can then flip it, make sure this is oriented the opposite way, and slide it on. Now what I'm using here is I have a quick connect attached to another linkage. So you're going to want to choose a linkage to do this too. So now that I have that securely on, I have a fastener that's about an inch and a half long. Again, another number 1038. I put a nut on the end of that and then I put a, fat, a washer on there. Then I take that, slide it all together like you would a normal handle, tighten the fastener until you get to the right point and then tighten the nut on the inside. So that way you can choose any, any size. This one was an inch and a half long. So that's how you get your mount part. Now that we have this mount, we need to be able to mount that to the camera. So what I've done is I've already assembled a knurled, basically nut, onto a quarter 20 fastener. So that way I can tighten and adjust to the right length. You'll take the quarter 20 fastener, place it inside the GoPro mount until you just bottom it out, then you use that to tighten it down. So now that's tight. Then you take your camera, spin it on, adjust it to pretty much whichever direction you want. So I'm going to orient mine this way. And then you use the knurled nut to tighten that. And there you have it. Now you can use any camera on the GoPro mount system. You can mount it to a handlebar, you can mount it to a suction cup, you can mount it to your chest, you can mount it to a helmet, pretty much mount it wherever. And that's it.